Yeah, Nuriel, now we know for sure. Absolutely. 100%. Who we who we who we avenging that? This guy's killed so many people. John, we're avenging John. I got you, John. I got you, buddy. Buddy. Oh God. These guys are so beefy when they're freaking enemies, like player enemies. Got you, Johnny boy. We good. Okay. Do a normal version of that, please. Oh, I can upgrade next. I think we only need one more point, and then we can try out this pole arm that I've never tried before. Oh wait, you know what? Oh shoot. Hold on, let's try this real quick. There is a chance that we can sell a bunch of stuff and maybe get what we need. I just miss a. Is it on? Oh, Skytech. Thanks again, bud. Appreciate that. Thank you. How's this game holding up compared to the first one? This game is, I would argue, superior to the first one in almost every single way. Yeah. Feels better. Looks better. Plays better. Cooler itemization. Cooler enemies. Yeah, it's just it's just better. It's just a better game. While the beacon should remain, I would have you perform. I feel like the first one was trying to be something else, for only and can we hope to and kind of like trying to obfuscate it a bit. But this game kind of leans into it and then adds its own flavor, especially with the uh, the lamp and stuff. So it's it's a this land is a to yeah. offer you also. This one just again it just feels a lot better. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what is this? Why is there a moth by it? Oh, hand over bloody aspergium, aspergillum. While even the handling of such items is objectionable, oh, yeah, I think we did all this. facets of this heterodoxy Maybe. must be exposed. Heterodoxy? Okay, what did that do? Did I just... You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. What did that do? Weird. To strive in darkness, in light we walk. It's on a bucket. Not gonna use these anymore. We're gonna try to use this old Mornstead pike here if I can afford it. So you, you, you I'm not gonna use you this run. Uh, how many souls we got? Oh god, we need like another thousand. We can sell all these. Oh, we're getting close. Uh, oh, we can sell some armor too. Great, there we go. Okay, let's try this. I really hope this pull arm's good. Let's go try it. Vociferous! Vociferous! <sighs> we really need more vitality. All right, let's see if there's any good chat. Here we go. Moment of truth. Of course, you got to do it in two hand. Because that's the only option. Is that a six hit combo? Hold on a sec. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. And it takes my entire stamina bar. Oh, heavy attack is a, a horizontal attack. Nice. I'm right, looking for the double hit. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Yo, pole arms, maybe? Big maybe on pole arms? What about this one? Oh, a lot of range on that, too. Also, not a bad charge up. That is pretty quick. All right, let's give it a, let's give it a try, chat. I'm, I'm a little bit worried that the range of this is going to make it so the damage isn't that high. That's a lot of range and a very quick uh, kit, so. Mm. Concerning. Concerning. Sithro with the 87 months. Thank you so much. Hey, Vexus, getting an item off our store. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. comes our chungus. Oh, oh, I have made large mistakes. With my life. Pretty good with the pokey. Is he getting health back from that? Oh, that's pretty cool. Looks like there's a little bit of a poise through there. Oh, that's not good. That's all right. That one's a little bit tough because he's constantly moving forward, and and he's very hard to break his uh, break his poise. But keep going here, keep playing with it. Didn't feel great, but it didn't feel bad. How's this character different from your other spears? So this is a polearm, not a spear. So different move set, different different type of thing. Similar, but, you know, important differences. Also, unlike the other character, this character is a dem. So he started bottom of the barrel. Where our other character started with very good stats for what he was doing. I tried javelins? Not really. Are you going to play through Dragon's Dogma before Dragon's Dogma 2? Yes. Do we have a release date for Dragon's Dogma 2? We know, like, the, the estimated time for that. No. Okay. Not soon enough. Well said. That's a fair answer. Yeah, somebody who didn't uh, make it all the way through Dragon's Dogma the first time I played, I'm definitely play it again. Yeah, just give me a little Oh, God. I definitely like this move set. The move set is pretty slick. How's the level design compared to the other Souls games? It's fine. Uh, this game definitely adds a bit of uniqueness with the lamp mechanic, which I'm really enjoying. So having like basically two levels overlaid on each other is uh, an interesting concept. It's 
crazy how they manage the loading of that. Yeah, I'm assuming that both are running at all times, all the time. It's like a, it's just like a mesh. It's overlaying the, so like you have your base level and then this is just like a mesh that's over it. I, I have no idea though, technically it's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, that means it's already dead. Defaced ring. Have we gotten this before? Increased vitality. Awesome. Okay. I don't know if we've gotten that before. Oh, we can also totally put a thing here if we wanted to. Oh, interesting. Oh, cool. Very cool. Can we go anywhere from here? I don't think so. It's over here. That'd be it, mate. Is this on UE5? Sure is, yep. I don't have enough to knock him off. Rude. <laughs> Them's were my knees. Okay, probably should have waited for that to swing over in a better way. Why do people even care what game engine it is? It's not like it's going to make a difference to the gamer. Oh, it 100% makes a huge difference. What game engine can a lot of times dictate performance? Also, if the game engine has any known bugs, that's a big deal. And also, how a game looks is almost completely dependent on it. So, yeah, I'd say what game is something uses this? In the case of this game, Unreal 5 is a relatively newer engine, so I think a lot of people are interested to see how it performs and how it looks and all that kind of stuff as well. So, yeah, I mean, the game engine is essentially the, the sandbox that you play in. So, it can be, and especially these days, um, like, you, like here, here's another good example. My rig has issues with Unity games when I'm turning around in them. So, like, because it, it, they, it, Unity does this weird thing where it has a different FPS for when you're moving as opposed to staying still. And that's a big consideration. Uh, also, Unity just had a huge issue with publicity, which is another thing. So, you know, like, again, what, what engine you use is kind of similar to an engine in a car, where it's like to some people it means a whole bunch of stuff, but other people only care if it drives or not. Uh, you apparently only care if the car drives. There's a lot of people that absolutely are interested and care about what's actually in the engine compartment. So it's it's that kind of thing. Yeah. You should never rag on somebody for being interested in the engine. I mean, it's super cool stuff, to be honest. Dandy King. Oh, dude. Best of vibes to you, man. And no problem. Don't ever worry about that, Dandy. You're, you're good, brother. Don't ever, don't ever worry about that. But to, for me personally, I'm I'm super interested about what engine a game uses and how it's using it and how it's utilizing it. If it's using new technology and how that technology is being applied and that stuff is fascinating. Uh, also, kill the Reaper Twenty. Thank you for giving away that co mug off our store. Really appreciate that. Big congrats to our friends, Cool Bats. Cool Bats. Keep in mind you have to click that link in the winning command and put in your information to get your prize. So please be sure to do that. And uh, congrats again and thank you to Kill the Reaper. I fear the reaper when you can kill it. Oh yeah, that's a whole different discussion about engines when you also factor in that a lot of companies use their own engines and then deal with all the troubles that that comes with. Bethesda being a prime example of that. You instantly know many of the bugs you're gonna get in a Bethesda game just because it's using the creation. So that is a large thing to, you know, say. All right. 
We gotta be careful with this guy because we're mostly doing dodging. But he is going to want to punch us in the face. And this is not a big platform. Can we get behind him? Maybe. out knock him the out yep that's right hey pam me in what's up buddy mm -hmm. uh, here where do i go here I've been kind of uh, avoiding a lot of the blister things and not doing it. But those things give a lot of bigger. Yeah, definitely when we do our our real run, we'll be absorbing every one of those umbral blisters that we find. Oh God. I thought that it pulled the bridge all the way to us. It didn't. It didn't. Excuse me. is the problem? I am. Is this game capped at 60 FPS? No, I'm playing the top right there. You're capped at 60 FPS, unfortunately, because that's that's Twitch. Yeah, Twitch, Twitch only broadcasts at 60 FPS. Base is capped at 60 FPS? Yeah. Oh, you're my soul. Nice. Great. Yeah, hopefully the stream looks a little bit better today. I found out some of the issues that I was having with my capture card. So I don't have to have the client open anymore. So I'm hoping that the stream looks pretty pristine for you guys. Is this playable right now? No. Oh, God. Comes out on October 13th, Friday the 13th. Oh God. 
That was a mistake. That was a large mistake. <laughs> I think this game does enough to set it apart from different souls likes yep i think it's a really good version of what it does and it has some very cool stuff with the lamp and i like the the two-handing switch mechanic and the weapons are unique and the world is unique and yeah i i mean it is a souls like game it's not trying to do anything besides be a souls like game which i think is fine and um yeah. i think what it does it does fine This time, here. Yeah, I'm. I'm really enjoying. I am very excited for uh, a few days from now. I think I missed two items down there. Oh, I didn't miss to get the drop down to it. I'm not gonna worry about those now, but if it was tomorrow or Friday. Thorned mm -hmm. Crimson Rector Sword. Oh. Didn't we get one of these earlier? Oh, interesting. Okay. Maybe not that one. Yeah, we're taking a, a very special early look today, thanks to the devs, uh, experts. They're basically letting us play a little bit of the game now. To, uh, but only up to the third boss. It's the full game, but it's, it's you know, we can't go that far with it. too bad because I would love to. <clears throat> oh god! How am I doing? Great. Mm -hmm. Hope you are too. Mm -hmm. Great. Is this game Dark Souls hard, Elden Ring hard, or Sekiro hard? I, I don't. Yes. Boys Dar. Okay. Bro, I don't even know where to get started with that. I would need to know what you consider hard, what your scale is. Like, so many questions, man. <laughs> God. I feel like that could have gone better. Um, hey, Co, what's the proper way to wear the coalition beanie? Me and my girlfriend can't decide if the seat should be the front slightly to the side or otherwise. Could you demonstrate? Oh, I wear mine slightly to the side. Yeah, that's me. But I mean, it's however you want to wear it, dude. There's no right way to wear a beanie, bro. It's however you want. You're both right. Mm-hmm. 
No? You're not gonna... We're gonna come say hi? No? Oh, God. That move is so, <laughs> so fast. <laughs> oh my God, bro. He's just, he's just heading me here. This is my life now. Can I? Can you do this when they have the shield up? Hold on. Sort of. So it definitely. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Charging. Hold That move is nice. That move is nice. Butter. Mo butter. this guy, you just stand right here. Good show. Thank you, Boski, with the 10 bomb. I appreciate it. Great timing on that. Thank you. Okay. So unfortunately, I can't go back up here and I didn't hit the ladder down. So the only way we can go is down. All right. Guess we're going down. Crazy. Um, we can put a temp thing here. We're gonna have to go back, go back up and kind of curl around the bottom there. We'll go ahead and pop a temp one here. I very much might die in this area. Why not? I'm worried about the movement. It seems so floaty and fast compared to other Souls-like games, especially after being spoiled by Lies of P. I mean, I personally really like how fast the movement is. Um, I'm not... I, I think me and you probably have different definitions for the term floaty, because I don't really feel like the movement in this game is floaty. Um, but, yeah, I feel like it feels fine. It's, it's kind of a fast game. So, I mean, it's, it's, the combat has weight to it, especially because you can't, like, dodge or parry out of a lot of attacks. So there's, there's, it feels kind of, it's got that clunky, Souls-like feel in that regard. You gotta be real careful because we've got a ton of stuff. That move on this is awesome for clearing out like tons of enemies. Oh, that is, that is great. Yeah, that move is. I am down with that sickness chat. 
Everything, you little jerk! Hold on. We got it. We got to dodge their big move. There it is, right there. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, oh. Wait, she leans back. There it is. There we go. I just like chunks up that. Oh god. No, no, no. no. She died. No. Dude. Yeah, this weapon has a lot of control, which I really like. A lot of, a lot of reach and control. Not the highest damage, but we could probably other one out. Good stuff. What's that top right eye? So as you can see, there's this little gauge that's going around the eye uh, clockwise. It, it's a little bit brighter. Every time that gauge makes it around, the eye gets more red. And when the eye gets more red, more horrible things start happening in this realm. It's a timer. So you don't necessarily want to just hang out in this realm for a long time. Yeah, it's, it's not super pleasant. So, like right now, this enemy here, I'm pretty sure, only spawns if you have like one of those eyeballs. Normally, it's just the little guys. Those guys right there. But when you start getting more eyeballs, it starts. The enemies start becoming harder and harder. Thankfully, these things are everywhere. So pretty much whenever you want, you can exit the realm, and then you're good to go. So I'm sure there will be parts of this in this game where you are forced to do the, the harder higher difficulty and that will be a thing for sure. Are you playing this on PC? I know. said I was done with this game after today. But that may have been a flagrant lie. Because unfortunately, I gotta go here in a second. Um, but I definitely want to keep playing this guy. Can I, can I, do I have anything that allows me to warp back and not lose all my souls? Yeah, look at this! A vestige moth. And I didn't lose all my souls, right? All right, well guys, it's been fun. So we'll probably do this like, oh wait, I don't know if I can do this another day. I think there's a, there's a there's an embargo on the other side too. So maybe maybe I have to do it tonight. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, I gotta go for now. As always, appreciate your time. I'll be back this afternoon for some Noketober something. I wanna do something scary this afternoon. Um, maybe at least a little horror oriented. There's this game called, uh, what's it called? Uh, Ella recommended to me. It's like an old school Resident Evil game which could be fun. It's called Alyssa. And I don't think we've ever played that. So that could be fun. We also have File Destined to check out. Maybe we'll take a look at that. I don't know. But anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to let you hang out with Pasco for those that want to. We'll be raiding over there and then raiding back when I come back. Hopefully you guys will stick around. I'd love to see you this afternoon. And I will see you all later for more fun and games. Bye-bye.